Hi, in this tutorial we are going to see how to make uh, this facade structure. This shape is somehow related to the pine cone uh, uh, shape that we did uh, in the previous tutorial, but we're going to make it in a different way. I'd like to show the shape uh, with this uh, artistic preview mode, which has this nice uh, occlusion effect. Now let's see the grasshopper definition. Actually, we're going to start with uh, a revolution in order to make the uh, surface. Then we're going to divide it and uh, uh, we'll see some uh, interesting uh, feature of paneling tools. Uh, then we are going to see how to reorganize data in the tree and finally how to make uh, a visualization mesh with some weaver bird tools. We can start this rhino curve. Then we are going to draw an axis of revolution. Like this. Let's start our definition importing the curves in Grasshopper. Pick the revolution component and a zero from 260 degrees slider and a radiance component degree set on curve well profile and axis that's our surface then we need a divide surface component and we divide this surface and some sliders and 0 to 50 but we are going to set these integer sliders only for even numbers. U and V, and we are going to make okay, something like this. Let's see how this tree is organized. There are 25 branches of 49 points each. We can also have a better look of uh, each single branch with these three branch component then we use a slider from 0 to 24 and we grab in the tree then we use simplify and we can see how the trees are organized we have columns of point from 0 to 24. If we want to make panels in this grid, we can use the cellulate component from paneling tools. Cellulate with this grid of point will produce rectangular cells. If we want to rearrange the cells as uh, we've seen uh, on the facade, diamond shaped, we can use the convert to diamond component 
of paneling tools for Grasshopper. So if we grab in the grid and then connect the cellulite after, we have this result. This nice result here. Anyway, there is a gap to fill here. How to do it? Using another uh, utility from uh, paneling tools, which is wrap grid. This component asks for a direction, which is 0 for x and 1 for y going to set 0 then it asks for a number of rapid steps can be 1 and then uh, the uh, starting index 0 let's try with 0 connect all these and then we are going to set this first uh, grid into it. Well, then again we are going to connect it in the convert to grid and we see we set the start from 0 uh, let's try start from this branch which is 1 Okay, perfect. It works. Simplify. And simplify again here the meshes. The cellulite component gives us three outputs. We have the wires only, we have the cells, and we have the meshes. In other words, we have a set of points, a set of uh, lines, and a set of meshes. We want to use meshes. Then let's see how the tree is organized now using list item component. There are uh, 564 meshes, so slider 500 from 0 to 563 and let's hide and flatten it increasing the slider we see that the meshes jump from one corner to the other of our structure so we have an unordered tree we have to find a way to uh, Re restore the previous order. There are many ways to do so. I will show my method. We'll use uh, the Z coordinates of the center of each mesh to arrange the meshes in groups which share the same Z value and then we are going to arrange the elements in each path using uh, angular corner first of all we need the center of each uh, meshes mesh area then we are going to flatten the points and deconstruct them in order to have the coordinates. We are interested in the Z coordinate. Then we go to set and sort list. Sort list component asks for a list of sortable keys and an optional list of values to sort synchronously to the one we sorted here. We want to sort all the 
z coordinates of points and then sort the points list in the same fashion as result we have here a list of points that will be now sorted by z values let's take a look with the list item component all the points with the same z values then the second row the third row and so on now we have to rearrange the data in sorted circles of point first of all we need a partition list and we have to reorganize it in groups of rows that's the list and then a panel in which we need to uh, insert these values divided by 2 which is 12 all the points have now uh, 3D coordinates 3D space coordinates in order to arrange them we need to translate these coordinates to polar we need uh, a system which will be x, y plane and then we get into the tree as a result we will have the points in uh, polar coordinates again the sort list you can use it to sort the polar coordinates and then rearrange the points in the same fashion as output we now have uh, here a series of 46 branches with 12 values each let's simplify we want to apply the same sorting to the list of meshes that we have here how to do so? Using this component, find similar member. We are going to connect here our sorted list of points and we're going to connect to the set to search our points output here at the very beginning. now we are going to have as an output a list of indexes which are the indexes of H in set this list of indexes will be our sorting map for the mesh list we grab in the list item component and finally we grab our meshes into it flatten it now let's check with another list item the slider from 0 to 50 Them. D 
the zero is here and then we reached our goal now we have a sequence of ordered meshes in the tree let's extract the normal for the meshes then use an amplitude and a minus one till one slider and let's move the faces in this direction to get uh, the windows or the facade we can use this component for with a bird and connect it here with uh, a slider from 0 to 5 could be good and then we move it back then we use the weave bird frame component pitch frame with the same amount as distance and connect it and we have the frames for each window or the facade we need to loft uh, from the frames to the window now can use uh, the wheelbed mesh edges for the window for the moved window sorry here and we use the wicker wheelbird naked boundary here for the frames this component gives a couple of closed polylines for each frame because there are two naked boundaries but normally they are sorted the first and the second uh, boundary for each frame to select only the one we we need we can use the curl pattern and set a multiple boolean true false for example this way we have only the even index in the list connect it and hide and it's right we have only the inner one that's good well now with these two sets of polylines we do simplify and let's see we have uh, here one element and four element here so we need to craft this let's take a look ok here there are branches of four lines and here we have one polyline so maybe we can join 
the curves here then simplify then let's see the output uh, okay but it's not s the same of this one or it is yes let's loft now the curves okay perfect it works as a result we have the lofted faces from the frames to the windows with merge we're going to group everything together these with the windows and the frames then hide everything and that's the complete structure here we can now bake it in Rhino if we want select only meshes and move them here here our facade complete